Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that watched my last video. Um, I really didn't expect my first video to do so well. I know my sister sent a lot of you guys over from her channel as well. So thank you, I really appreciate everyone. Today's video is not about the tiny home. Today's video is about a hurricane damage boat that I bought down in Florida. You all heard about the hurricane, I hit Florida really hard. And after that, a lot of stuff came up for sale that was damaged and this boat being one of them. So I bought that thing over the winter. I rebuilt it and enjoyed it all winter long. And that's what this video is going to be about. Parts of it might be a little sad. Parts of it are pretty cool. I hope you enjoy it either way. But there will be more tiny home footage coming. Uh, I need to get back up there and film. There's still four feet of snow in the driveway, so it's really hard to work on. But either way, that is coming. And I hope you enjoy this video and the next few to come. So thank you. guys seen what Fort Myers looks like uh, it got hit really hard by the hurricane there's a ton of damage a lot of people lost their homes a lot of people lost their cars and their boats and a lot of people lost their lives so anyways I'm down here I've been down here since the hurricane and um, yeah I'm buying a hurricane damaged boat it's a 2009 sailfish it's a 2360 so just under 24 feet long thing has a single 350 Yamaha on it and it took on water the whole boat went under uh, well actually the bow stayed out of water but the uh, majority of the electronics and stuff like that were underwater I have looked at the boat already and I've done a bit of investigation on the engine itself I mean I don't know it's a it's a gamble there's a chance that motor's gonna run, but um, I don't know. It's a bit of a gamble for sure. It's been just over two months since the hurricane and the guy never drained the oil. He never did anything. He didn't touch it. He doesn't know what he's doing. So he left it. Insurance paid him out on it. Uh, it was a total write off and I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna get it running. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it running. Uh, that's the gamble I'm taking. If I can get this thing running, I'm gonna make some pretty good money on it and uh, I'll bring you guys along for that journey. All right, so I have to get some stuff installed on the trailer because the trailer needs work. I just picked up some parts and I'm gonna put those on now. Don't stop 
This trailer's kind of screwed up a bit, but got a really good deal on it. So, gonna remove this part because and clean up that. It's a little bit better now. Got the winch mounted. I've got a new jack and I've got those gone because they're really not necessary. But this trailer kind of sucks. Right around there and there, it's really rusted. And there's a chance this trailer might actually snap in half. So we'll see. I might just buy a brand new one, but first I want to make sure the boat runs. So this will have to do for now. There it is, on the trailer. Looks pretty good out of the water. So, gonna head back to the property, drain the oil, drain the water out of the oil, and then hopefully we can get it running this weekend, we'll see. Two months sitting in the water after the hurricane. got home a little late it's dark out now but um, I couldn't help myself but start taking this motor apart so I've pulled off the shrouds and gotten to the uh, drain plug and I'm gonna see if the motor did take on a lot of water or not so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand I've already loosened it off. Well, yeah, definitely a bit of water in there. That is not bad though. Oh baby, tell me that's what it looks like in there.
the whole way. Come on, baby. Stay like that. That is not bad. This thing sat underwater during the hurricane for f over four hours. And that's what the oil looks like? You're gonna be shitting me. Today I'm working on diagnosing exactly what it's gonna take to get this engine running. A um, little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. The motor had no water in it. Oil came out clean, no water in it at all. I have really uh, high expectations for the engine to run. Second thing, biggest thing in my opinion, even more than, well, it's gonna suck. At first glance, everything looks pretty good, but upon further inspection, yeah. So you can see a lot of the corrosion. You can see the salt build up. That's what all that is. So I've obviously taken this all out and trying to organize what is good, what is bad, what needs to be replaced. Ideally, I would just change everything. The battery terminals are completely corroded to the point where they've disintegrated into non-existence anymore. Those look new. These are the terminal ends, corroded right off. So, all new power wires. Not a big deal. It's definitely broken. <laughs> All right, different day, same shirt, back to work. Plan today, start the motor. So I've got a battery, I've got jumper cables. I'm gonna bypass all of the wiring that goes up to the helm or the console. And I'm going to basically just put a jumper wire and see if A, it'll crank, if the starter's good, Potentially the starter's corroded and garbage. Um, so start with that. And then if it starts, then um, I guess we're going fishing. So I've got the battery hooked up with the booster cables to the engine. The engine overall looks really clean considering it was underwater uh, two months ago and never washed. So that's kind of shocking. But um, everything's hooked up. Technically there should be power here. So I'm going to turn the key and see what happens. This is my first time trying this, so I'm doing this with you. Oh, I hear a fuel pump. Wow, no way. Maintenance required. I'd say so. All right, let's see if she cranks. Oh wow, a little smoke, those booster cables are kind of crappy. Oh man, that's a great sign. Okay, need to reassess that situation, but wow. To me, that's almost good enough to say the motor runs, to be completely honest with you. It cranks, the starter engages, the fuel pump's functioning, all the gauges are come, are powering up. I mean, that's telling me this thing's gonna fire up. So next step, I'm gonna get some new batteries and I'm gonna run some new battery wire and go from there. <laughs> 